were approached to work on this project in 2014. We were initially asked to work on the Hope Lodge in Houston and in Dallas. So this was a very short time after my mom passed away and um, I think a lot of my colleagues maybe felt like it would be too soon for me to work on a project like this. but. Um, When I heard about this project and understood what it was and that it was a place for refuge for people with cancer that were undergoing treatment in the area, I thought it was a very important project to be a part of. And I thought it was something that my mom would really be proud of. For me, the most important aspect of what I do is to make sure that other people don't have to experience some of the hardships that my family experienced. If I could do anything to help reduce or eliminate that stress for other families, that's what motivates me. Well, the Hope Lodge in Dallas is, is gonna be an incredible uh, resource for us because it's gonna really make the difference uh, between people being able or not able to participate in really important therapeutic clinical trials for their cancer. When patients stay at the Hope Lodge, it's for free. And that's really incredible because they have to stay uh, you know, up to a week when they first enter a clinical trial, and then they have to come down every two to three weeks, sometimes weekly, for their for their therapy. And it's really prohibitive you know, to come to a, another city and, and do that, but the Hope Lodge will be kind of a home away from home. It's going to basically make it feasible for a lot more people you know, here in, the, here in the Southwest to be able to enroll on clinical trials and really get the best therapy for their cancer. Dallas needs Hope Lodge for the mere reason that there are so many cancer providing agencies there. There are people coming in throughout the United States and around the world and this gives them a place to come and to share information and to have one less stress about cost. Cancer's not cheap at all. It's expensive. And so that, if that can relieve one bit of their stress right there, that's good. And give them a sense of community and, this, and a sense of hope. You have to have it. If you don't have hope, that disease is gonna get you. When you think cancer, you think, okay, chemotherapy, surgery, but all these other factors, like long commutes, extra costs, staying in hotels, finding a place for your caregivers to stay while you're in the hospital is something that never really crosses our mind when we get diagnosed. I was concerned with surviving and making it through all of this. The last thing on my mind was figuring out a commuting schedule or reserving a last minute hotel. Since the day of my diagnosis, I've undergone 27 rounds of chemotherapy and most recently in April, a bone marrow transplant with my brother's healthy stem cells. When my friend who had stayed at the Hope Lodge first told me about it, it almost sounded too good to be true. He would talk about, you know, how the Hope Lodge was one of the most powerful and inspiring and moving experiences he'd ever had um, and that in some ways it had been the highlight of his cancer experience. I remember first arriving to the Hope Lodge here and I had no idea what to expect. I was so exhausted and the first thing we saw was this waterfall in the lobby and we both kind of stopped and said, really? This, this can't be the right place. This is far too nice and we went upstairs and I remember feeling so relieved as I sort of sank down into my bed and kind of breathed a sigh of relief. I mean, New York is called the concrete jungle, but this place feels like a sanctuary. Cancer patients going to chemotherapy love ice cream because it soothes your throat. So we would sit here and watch really bad romantic comedies and eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> It didn't just feel like I was in a hotel, it felt like I was stepping into a supportive community that um, wanted to do everything they possibly could to make 
a, a difference in this difficult time. One of the things that amazed me while I was staying at the Hope Lodge was just how many cancer patients were cycling through. It's so clear that there's a need for a place like a Hope Lodge and an immediate need. Dallas needs Hope Lodge because we have so much to offer in terms of cancer care and we want to make sure as many people as possible benefit from that cancer care. Um, and Dallas has so much to offer anyway, not only cancer care, but the support, the hope, the promise that I think accompanies the cancer care and that's what the Dallas Hope Lodge can help provide. You're finding a home away from home. You've got a social structure, a social network, that cocoon of security and hope uh, and promise. It makes hope more, um, more possible. And you know, I think it makes hope easier to achieve. Exhausted all your bank accounts and maxed out all your credit cards. And it's hard to be hopeful in times like that. But if you don't have to worry about that, you have more time to be hopeful. You see that there is someone else out there who's looking out for you, who wants to support you, care for you. Um, so that, I think, makes hope a lot easier. When we are undergoing a battle of any kind, it's hope that pulls us through. And we all need to have something to attach our hopes to. And the Hope Lodge will provide that for these patients. It'll give them a place where they can connect with others, where they can go and have respite at the end of the day, and where they can really feel the support, not only of their caregiver, but of the community around them and the American Cancer Society. If you look at the different cities where we have Hope Lodges, and there's quite a few Hope Lodges already in the U.S., and you look at patients who have completed their treatment and they're now cancer-free, to almost a person, they give back to Hope Lodge. They either volunteer or they give back financially because it's been so impactful in their lives that they want to turn around and impact someone else's life in the way that Hope Lodge has. And that's a beautiful legacy. Give, give hope, hope a home. Help bring hope home home to Dallas. Give hope a home. With your support, we can help give hope a home here in Dallas.